Jesus called Christians sheep. Yeah. And he said Gentiles other than Israel. No, I'm not shouting. No, it's not you. No, I'm talking to him. No, I'm not talking. No, 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 I'm not shouting at you. Yeah, I'm saying. According to Bible, yeah, according to Bible, Jesus called non-Israelites dogs swine. And also, and also he said his followers are sheep. So sheep are animals. Yes, but Christians say Muslims, no, Muslims as Christians say, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Okay, come here, please. Come forward. Okay, no, because the camera. I can't go far from the camera. Yeah. Now I'm saying. Christians say Jesus. Basically, let me go this way. Basically, Christians say Jesus. They say Muslims are the slaves of God. Okay, and the Bible says Christians are the slaves of God. According to Romans chapter 6, verse 22, it says, Okay, it says, Yeah, it says they're slaves. Yes, also Jesus called them sheep. So, slave and sheep, which one is us? Even slave is literal. Slave, you know what? Why Allah called Muslim slaves? You know why we are the slaves of Allah? Because we obey Allah. Jesus called them sheep because they obey him. You understand that? Okay. Yes. Say again. Huh? I'm saying he called them, according to them, say, they say he called us sheep because sheep, they listen. Okay. Also, us, Allah called us a slave. According to them, even they are slaves, we are slaves of God because uh, obedient, because the slaves obe obeys his master, yes? So there's no problem. So now, why did Jesus lie? Why did Jesus lie? Prophet never lied. Jesus lied in the Bible. I can give you many verses. Yes. Shall I give you a verse? Jesus said, Jesus said, the Father will be with me. And he said, my disciples will forsake. He said, my disciples will run away from me, but my God will be with me, he will not forsake me. And guess what? He said that in John chapter 5. Yeah, please, please, can you stop your dog? Please, respect me. I don't want your dog. Okay, she's using uh, from website. Those, uh, don't listen. She's using false ones. So now I'm asking. Yeah, she's using false website. She's using false website. For, forget about her. So now Jesus said in the Gospel of John, chapter. He said, chapter 15, chapter 16, no, chapter 15, verse 32, chapter 16, verse 32. He said, there will be a time my disciples will run away from me. And he said, God will be with me. He will not forsake me. And guess what? During the crucifixion, Jesus said, according to Mark, chapter 15, verse 34, he said, my God, my God, my God. Why have you forsaken? And before what he said? Okay, what he said before? Do you understand now? I'm not too sure about the response to that. So, do you understand what I'm saying? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, you can ask me. Um, what do you reckon to the Revelation 22, 13 passage? 22? 13, where it talks about when Jesus said, I am the first and last beginning and the end. And last, where you quoted now, Revelation chapter 22, verse 13, it's not Jesus talking. Yes, if I use the same chapter, same book, Revelation, you know who's talking? A lamb, a lamb with seven heads, seven eyes and seven horns so my question to you is okay can you go to he's asking jesus claimed alpha and omega in revelation chapter 22 verse 13. so i'm giving him the context in those chapter and verses yeah yeah i'll give you the context can you go to Revelation? Okay, no problem. No, no problem. You're lucky you have children. children. Lovely children. I love children. You're lucky. Blessed from God. Blessing from God. 
So yeah. let's go from 12, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Behold, I am coming soon. Yes. Bringing my recompense with me. Uh -huh. To repay each one for what he has done. Uh -huh. I am the Alpha and Omega, the yes. first and the last, yes. the beginning and the end. What uh -huh. does that mean, Alpha and Omega, first and last? The beginning? context, let me give you the context. Same book in Revelation, yeah? No, I'll give you the context. Okay. Same book, Revelation, yeah, yeah. it says, the one who said these words is a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns. Okay. So now my question to you, is Jesus a lamb? No, 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 yeah, yeah. The, the, okay, go to Revelation chapter 5 verse 6. No, right. no right. chapter 5 verse 6, please. Right. Verse 13, the question I asked you, yeah? No, I'm answering yeah, 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 the context. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Right. Behold, yes. I am coming soon, yeah? Yes. Right, so the eye is yes. the one who's talking, yeah? Yes. Yeah, I am coming soon. Okay. So whoever this eye is, yes. right, is yes. the one in verse 13. Would you agree? So do you agree Jesus is a lamb? Yeah, well, yeah, one second, yeah, one second, right? Before you jump there, right? So, no, first you want, you, you need to agree with do, me. Do you want to talk? No, I'm not talking to the, about this one. Do you, no. do you want to address this no. verse? Yeah, I'm talking about this verse. Okay, okay. Behold, I am coming soon. I understand the okay, verse. Okay, so is the is the I in verse 12 the I in verse 13? Is it, is it, yes, no, no, what I'm saying, okay. what I'm saying, let me explain yeah, no, to you. Is, is let me explain to you. Okay. I'll explain to you. Right, let's just chill for a second. Okay. okay. Is the I, yes. I am, you know, whoever this is? Yes. Right. Whoever it is. is this this one is, an, an, is a lamb with seven eyes and okay. seven arms. Behold, it's not Jesus talking. Behold, I'm coming soon. Yeah? Yes. Bringing my recompense with me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. To repay each one of them. Camera phone, camera phone. Uh -huh. Brother. Can, brother, can you take him there, please? Because I can't hear you, he's distracting me. Brothers, brother, brother, can you take him, can you take a bit far, please? Because you, I can't hear the, uh, the fellow. Can you go a bit Do far? Right, me, yeah, okay, carry on, carry on. Okay, carry on. Okay, carry on, you can ask okay. me. So okay. behold, I am coming soon, bringing my recompense with me to repay yes. each one yes. for what he has done. Yes. Right. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. The yes. Beginning. The first question is, this, this, this title here, Alpha and Omega, first and last, the beginning and the end, yes. is this a divine title? No. It's not? No, it's not a divine what, what title. Is, what does it mean then? We have to check the context. Okay, what, what kind of title is this? Okay. If I go to the context, because I can't okay. just use this verse, no, 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 no. Right. I'll explain is, to you. Okay, okay. What kind First of title is this? I will explain to you, then you okay. can respond, okay? okay? So, here, Revelation, 22. he showed me this verse, 22, 22 chapter 30, verse 13. 12 and 13. Yes, 12 and 13. If we go to the same book, in Revelation, what chapter? chapter 5, verse 6. Different context. No, wait. It's not a different context. Okay. It says, I'm giving you the context okay. of this verse. I'm okay. explaining, then you can talk I, to I'm me. Gonna, I'm going to give you some time, yeah? If, okay. If you don't want to think, right? So you okay. said this is the, a divine title. That's what you said, yeah? Alpha and Omega, yes. first and last, beginning and the end. You said it's not a divine title. Okay, what if I claim Alpha and Omega? Can that make me a god? It don't make you a god, but you're claiming to be god. But, but, yeah. but does that make me? Um, no. no, does that make no. me real god? No. Okay, I'm no, I'm asking. Yeah. No, so you need to answer. No, yeah. you need to answer. Yeah. If I claim I'm Alpha and Omega now, yes. does that make me a real god? No. Okay, thank you. That's not what so, okay. Whoa, 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 That's not what I'm saying, my friend. Oh, uh, please. Uh, that, my friend, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. You're misunderstanding what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not saying if someone says that, it makes him a god. Okay. Like if my boy says that, okay. it makes him a god. Because he can say he could read that. Okay. It makes him a god. Yeah. 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 Right? So that's not what I'm saying. I think you know that's not what I'm saying. What yeah, I'm saying I understand this, what you're right? saying. This statement, Alpha and Omega, yeah. first and last, beginning and the end, yeah. is, from a biblical standpoint, a divine title. A, a divine title. Only God. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Only what? Okay, so only God is yeah. Alpha and Omega, first and last, beginning the end. From a biblical standpoint, that title itself is a divine title. No, no created being is Alpha and Omega, first and last, beginning and the end. Okay. Okay. So, so that's a divine title. So, so okay. Whoever's claiming it, yes. right, is claiming. I'm not saying they are. Yeah. I'm saying whoever's saying this that yes. I am the Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. first and last, beginning and the end. Whoever's saying this is okay. claiming divinity. But does so, that mean he's God? Okay. No, I'm saying whoever's saying it okay. is claiming divinity. Claiming. So okay. Now we need to establish. So this. in order you to believe he's, he's claiming to be God. So okay. who is now that's talking? Now, now, 
Okay, no, according to Christians, okay. they believe Jesus is talking. But according okay. to the no. context, can I show you? is a lamb can with I, seven can, eyes can and you? seven horns. Can I show you? Okay, okay. now I'm asking a question. You. I'm a visitor speaking to okay. okay. I'm going to be gone in five minutes. Okay. Let me show you okay. why it's Jesus. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Now, the person who's talking in verse 12, he says, Behold, I am coming soon. Uh -huh. So whoever's talking uh -huh. is coming soon. Okay. Yes? Yes. We agree? Yes. Did I read that right? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Right. Now, when we read a few verses down, yes. not chapter 1, chapter 2, or Genesis, when we read a few verses down, the immediate context, mm -hmm. right, we, we have this, right? Um, sorry, not verse thingy. We'll read a bit further down. Right? He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. So in the same chapter, in the same context, uh -huh. Jesus is coming soon. Right? The, okay. the, the immediate context, right? So we go yes. back to this. Behold, I am coming soon. The immediate context, if you, without adding anything into it, uh -huh. an exegetical um, interpretation of this passage would say the one who's claiming to be the Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. first and last, beginning and the end, yes. is Christ himself. Okay, so okay. can I answer? Yes. Okay. So he said, the Revelation, you said Revelation chapter 22, 22. verse 12 and 13, yes. he said Jesus claimed to be God because he said I'm Alpha and Omega. So the no, context, no, yeah, no, Omega. okay, yes, I understand, yes. okay, I understand that one. All Christians claim this. Yeah, okay. I know that one. Yeah, no, and no. I, I talked about this yeah, verse on, yeah. many times. Okay, we have to check the context. If Jesus says, let's say example, Jesus said I'm Alpha and Omega. So if Jesus is Alpha, which means he's the, uh, the beginning. So now my question to you, first question is, no, to you. First question is, can someone had a beginning be Alpha? That's a good question. Yeah. Okay, can a dead person be Omega? That's a good question. Can a dead person be Omega? So what's the question? So I can ask No, I'm asking that's one. That's one because question. according to Christians, they always quote okay, get to the question. One, John 1 1. No, it says, I'm not going there. Get to okay. the question. Go on. Okay. You, you just asked the question. John 1 1 it says, okay. in the beginning, according to Christians, believe they believe okay. in the beginning there was a word, okay. and the word was with God, I'm and not, the word was I'm God. Not John 1. I'm okay. Not Revelation so now I'm coming, I'm explaining okay. this one. Okay. So my question to you is, the context here, it says in Revelation chapter 5 verse 6, okay. and, and John seen a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns. And he said that horn, seven, and the lamb with seven eyes and seven horns is the king of kings, the lord of lords. So my question to you, okay. is Jesus a lamb with seven horns and seven eyes? Good question. Is he? Okay, good question. Is he? Let me answer. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Right. Um, when, we, when we're looking at certain verses, right, within the Bible, this is Revelation 22, chapter 22. Now, the immediate context is chapter 22. If you want to know about the immediate context of tw chapter 22, you read chapter 22. If you want to know the immediate context of chapter 1, read chapter 1. Now, you can, you can broaden it, you can read the full Bible as context, right? But to get the immediate context, like, if I was, if he asked me a question about John 4, I'm not going to say, oh, the, the context in John 20, oh, you got John 20. Now, I'm talking about... Second, okay, okay. 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 Don't worry about it, man. No problem. Right. So I'm at chapter 22. So he's going to chapter 5, right? In chapter 22, the immediate context, I know why he's going to chapter 5, because he's struggling with chapter 22, right? The immediate context, the one who's claiming to be the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, I'm just reading it, the first and the last, is coming soon. You read a little bit further down, a few verses, the immediate context, not 15 chapters before, the one who is coming soon is Jesus Christ himself. Read it and you'll see for yourself. Okay, now you didn't answer my question. I ask you politely, okay. is Jesus a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns? I want yes or no. Okay, right. Please tell me. No, he just asked me a question. Yeah. Right? And he wants a yes or no question. Right? No, so he because yes or no John, yeah, no, question, John's seen... You would ask it again. Right? Okay. The reason why, right, I don't have to go into chapter 5 is this, right? Because, again, I now ego speaks corner all the time. I'm just a visitor, yeah? Uh -huh. I'm going to be gone in two minutes because your wife's tired, right? So, chapter 22, he still hasn't dealt with it. He's going to Revelation 5, right? He even mentioned John 1, right? All of, 
talked to him is John 22. He's never he's never dealt with a text. Now I'm just a visitor asking him about a text in chapter 22, and it goes to a load of different chapters, right? If you want again, I'll okay. Let me answer. Okay, okay. I'll, I will respond to everything now. Okay. So now I ask you to okay. show me yes. to answer my question, which is in the same revelation, same book revelation, okay. chapter five verse six. John saw a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns and said they represent the seven spirit uh, the seven spirits of god and the lamb was called the lamb with seven eyes and seven horns was called lord of lords king of kings so i ask is jesus a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns if it's no the answer is no then revelation the one who is claiming alpha and omega is a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns Otherwise, a lamb cannot be, if the lamb is, and is no Alpha and Omega, how can a lamb claim Lord of Lords, King of Kings? That means the lamb itself is God. Okay. So in Christians now we have Jesus is God, God the Father is God, a lamb is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. How many of them? Okay, can I, can, can I, okay, I didn't finish it. Okay. So now I'll come to Revelation and chapter 22, verse 12 and 13. Yeah. He, they said... Jesus is claimed divinity. Why? Because he said, I'm Alpha and Omega. According to the same Bible, and, and what's his name? Mil Melchizedek, he was called Alpha and Omega. Okay. Hebrews chapter 3, okay. se chapter 7, chapter 7, my, verse 3, my, my and friend, chapter 3, verse 7, I my, think, my or friend, other way around. Can I respond? Okay, let me finish. Okay. You, you so talk, he yeah. was called, he was said, he has no beginning, my friend. nor end. No okay. finish and no end. Can you get Melchizedek scripture up for me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah no, you just get yeah. it for me, yeah? Yeah. Can I respond? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Melchizedek is, yeah, is said that he doesn't know the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know okay. the Bible. Okay. Okay, shall we go Melchizedek? Wait, no, one second. Wait, one second. Wait. Um, am I on the camera? Yeah? Wait. No. I'll tell, I tell you what happens, right? I'll okay. I'll tell you what he's just done. Yeah. If you're aware of the way things work, you'll, you'll see what, what he's done, right? I asked, him a, I asked him a question, chapter 22, right? 7 3. So, what he done is this, right? He goes to Revelation 5, again, asked him 22. What well, wasn't that Revelation 5? He done it again, and he'll, he'll just keep on doing it, really, right? right. I, I asked him, Revelation 22, go to, he talked about dragons in Revelation 5. He talked about John 1, I never mentioned John, right? He talked about Melchizedek, someone else, right? I asked him, I said, see a question. Hebrews 7 3. What, what, what was that? Yeah. Now, okay. What was when you, when you do that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can cut So I mentioned Revelation 22. And that's why I asked him, yeah? I said, right, give me an exegetical interpretation of this chapter, right? Now he's mentioned twice the dragon in, or the um, Roman not the Lord's of Eyes in chapter 5. I never talked about chapter 5. I never mentioned that. It's not the context. 22 is context. That's, that's what I asked him. Right? Okay. So I'll give him another chance, right? To give me his exegetical interpretation of chapter 22, verse 12 and 13, with the immediate context. I'll give him. I'll give him a go. Okay. Again, he just asked me the same thing, and I said same book Revelation. He used the Revelation chapter 22, and I used Revelation chapter 5, verse 6, chapter 17, verse 14. It says the one who claimed Alpha and Omega is a lamb with the seven eyes, with seven eyes and seven horns. So now again. If Jesus, let's say for the sake of the discussion, according to Christians, they believe this is Jesus talking. So now my question to them, can someone, can Omega, Omega means last, can a dead person be last? According to the crucifixion, Jesus, Christians believe Jesus died. If Jesus died, how can dead person, a dead person be Omega? So now Jesus himself is a prophet. He claimed to be a prophet. He yeah. said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 57, his disciples called him a prophet. And the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 20, 24, verse 19, again, the crowd people called him a prophet. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 11, 21, verse 11, 22, 11. Yes. So now, Zechariah, chapter 1, 5, it says, Where are your forefathers? Where are the prophets? 
it says all prophets must die and Jesus claimed to, uh, to be a prophet. So how can someone be a prophet and be Omega and where it says in the Bible all prophets must die. A dead person cannot be Omega. Someone in the Bible had a beginning. Jesus at the age of 12. Okay now I'm asking logic doesn't make sense. Okay. 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 I'll come to that point. Okay. Talk. Okay. Okay. Be fair, you know. Okay. Speaker, yeah, okay. You can time, speak. Right? Okay. Now, this is how I'm going to respond. Right? Okay. I'm going to spend, respond fairly simply to what he says. I understand a lot of passion. Muslim, you know, believes what he believes, and so on. Yeah, right. But it, it, it is it is funny. I tell you why. Right? He comes here all the time. Yeah. There's a visitor. Okay? Right. When I first come here, right, on the camera you can check. Right. When I first come here, I asked him a question about Revelation 22. Right. Now he's been to Zechariah, Melchizedek. John 1, the death of Jesus, a prophet, and all these other things, right? Now, if you don't know, go over the video and listen to their video if he puts it on YouTube, yeah, right? I asked him, exegetically, give me a, a, an answer from this verse, from the immediate context, right? Three times I've asked him, yeah, right? He's not been there, right? He went to Zechariah, Old Testament, it's not the context. Revelation 5 is not the context. John 1 is not the context. Melchizedek's not the context, yeah, right? Anybody who knows context and how you interpret things knows you've run in a big circle. What, what, we... the, what is the context? Right, Revelation 22. He's not talking about it. So he doesn't yeah, want to I'll, use. I'll he he doesn't want to use well, the Bible he verses. Me, he me no, he wants to use oh, only that oh, verse. Only one verse. He, he doesn't question. want the rest. Oh, he asked me a question. So that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh he asked me a question. Okay. The context of Revelation 22, verse I already 12 said, and 13. Christians is, claim is Jesus. Well, well, one second. Well, I'm talking. Okay. When you talked, okay. I was quiet, my friend. Okay, yeah? no okay. problem. Right. You can talk. When in the context of the uh, middle verse in chapter 12, no, sorry, chapter 22, is chapter 22. Yeah, that's that deal, deal with, the, with the context, with the chapter itself. Yeah, right. He's, he's gone to Zechariah in the Old Testament, right, thousands of years before, right, to verse there. I never mentioned Zechariah, never mentioned Melchizedek, right. And what happens is this, right? I'm going to go now because my wife's very tired. Yeah, no, but I do appreciate just, time. No, just five minutes. Yeah, no, no, but I do appreciate yeah, time. Five minutes, yeah, just five minutes, just five minutes. No, just five minutes. I'm from. Okay. One second, I'm from Warrington. Are you a Trinitarian or Unitarian? I'm, one second, one second. I'm from Warrington, yeah, right. So I've got to go now. I'm like fringe your mouth for me, yeah, right. So. So as you know, I did ask him a question of, of chapter 22, right? He comes Zechariah, John, Melchizedek, and all these things talk about dragons, but he's never addressed chapter 22. I didn't expect him to, right? Because what it says, um, I talked about it, and okay. it, it's, it's a big so, problem. So what I'm asking, if someone claims something... Let's see if he does it now. Okay, if someone claims something, we need for evidence, yes? Mm. So I, if I say I'm Alpha and Omega, mm. I need evidence to prove that I'm Alpha and Omega. Okay. So in the when we go in the entire Bible, Jesus, there's no evidence Jesus can be Alpha and Omega. Do you know why? I said Christians believe John 1, 1, it says in the beginning there was a word, the word was with God, the word became flesh, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So it says in the beginning, how can someone had the beginning be Alpha? See, fast, he can't be at fast. So again, he died, he said he died. So when Jesus was dead, how can he be last? See now again, so in order you to claim Alpha and Omega, we need evidence. And I said, Jesus is a prophet. If he's a prophet and the Bible says all prophets must die. And also now Jesus was made lower than the angels. So if he was made lower than the angels, according to Psalm chapter 8, verse 9, and also in Hebrews, uh, the New Testament, which they believe Paul, he said, chapter 8, verse 5, he said, Jesus was made lower than the angels. How can someone be Alpha and Omega, which is God, be lower than the angels? So friend? now... I... Can I respond, my friend? Yes. Thank you for, thank you for the thing here, right? After me next, um, I'm going to be about 30 seconds on this one, yeah? yeah. After this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let him have the last word, yeah. and then I'm going to shake his hand, yeah. and then we've got to go on. Because, okay. But what, yeah. you need okay. to tell me, are you Trinitarian? One second, because I ain't got the time, my friend. Next no, time please I'm, tell me, are you Trinitarian? On, uh, six of May I might be here. No, are you a Trinitarian? One, one second, one second, yeah? Right, so I'm going to give 30 seconds, and after this 30 seconds or so, I'm going to let him have the last say, and then I'm going to shake his hand, and then I get going, yeah? No problem. Right? Are you coming so, next week? Um, I'm from I Warrington, so. near Warrenton, near New Willows, 300 uh, miles. I'll come to you then. Right, you come to me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll come to you. Come to my place, I'll make some food. I'll okay. come to you. We'll, we'll have the food. <laughs> okay, right, so, no, it's, it's good to think you. I don't like all around and shout. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I understand no, it. Is it no? Yeah, no, no. Um, he's only a young man like myself, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. And, but, but again, right, again, 
I, I, I did stress I wanted an exegetical interpretation of chapter 22, right? He, um, he mentioned John 1 again. He mentioned, um, uh, oh, he mentioned prophets again. He mentioned, can uh, Jesus, he, asked, he even asked me a Trinitarian question, right? Um, and, and I did, I did, but I, I did ask him about 12 and 13. I think I've been here for roughly about five, ten minutes, and within that five, ten minutes, you've never given me your interpretation of scripture. And I, I tried, I've asked you, right? You've been a lot of other places, right? Um, but when you go to a lot of other places, you don't get anywhere because when you have a conversation, it's good to stick on one thing, even though it's good to add to it and evidence. But when you go all around the Bible, you don't really get anywhere, you know? So because you need the context. What, 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 yeah, one second, one second. If I just read yeah, one, one verse. Yeah, one second, right? When he said there, you need the context. He's right. Now listen, people, right? The first context you get is immediate context. So if you're reading uh, chapter 22, what's the immediate context? Chapter 22. If you're reading chapter 1, what's the immediate context? Chapter 1, yeah? Like now there's a broader context, but that's so, that's a secondary. The primary um, thing is the, um, is the, is the, if it's chapter 10, the, the, the immediate context, sorry for me stuttering, no is chapter 10, yeah? Like we sort of get that, right? So. What I'm going to do now, I, I've had a bit of a chat and uh, I, you tried. I'm going to give this man, I think he's called Suraj, I've watched him on YouTube, yeah, right? I'm going to give him his What's last say. Suraj, Nilus, man, yeah? Neil? Nilus. Nilus, yeah? I'm so Suraj. Have your last thing you done? Yeah, can. okay. No, all I want, yeah. first of all, I didn't know whether you're a Trinitarian or Unitarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? I want to know that. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got time that Which one? Going there. No, just tell me. Okay, which Trinitarian. One. Yeah. Trinitarian. Yeah. Okay, you believe three persons in one? Um, no. You don't believe three persons in one? That's like, not a definition of... Uh, oh, oh, okay. You're not like Chris. He no, believes no. God is three persons in one. He yeah, doesn't no, believe no, God no, three no, persons no, in one. I, I okay. In the, in the so concept, so now yeah. what I'm asking is, okay. do you believe Jesus has had two natures or one nature? Um, two. Two natures. Okay. So now I'm asking, do you believe Jesus is the way and the truth? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is the teacher? Yes. Yes. Okay. If Jesus had two natures, which means yes. divine nature okay. and man nature. Yes. So did Jesus, the man nature, yes. worship Jesus, the divine nature or the Holy Spirit? So, so what's the question? And did who do you worship? Okay. So you asked two questions. That's yes. one. It's better to ask Yeah. One. I'm asking one first. Let me go with the uh, first yeah, one. Yeah, you can. If you want to just come no, in. No, no. He, no, he, he, he believes, believes three persons in one. No, one second. Yeah, he's one got second. different yeah, opinions right. than yours. He's all right. Sorry, calm down, man. He's all right, man. Don't worry about it. He's, no, I want him to answer no, no, because it's too different. No, we don't. No, he believes. You can come, but he believes. No, he believes. He doesn't believe God to be three persons in one. Are you getting the point? He believes God is only one person, not three persons in one. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't want to ask him. So, do you believe God is three persons in one? Okay, yes, I believe in three persons. Do you believe God three persons in one? Three persons, one divine being. Okay, so three different persons, yes, but being one God. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So now, so now I'm asking. Yes. Your God yes. is God the Father, yes. the Son. Okay, wait. Let me come. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. So your so God is go okay. Your God is God the Father, yes, yes. the Son, yeah, yeah. and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. And who is the God of Jesus, the Man? Is it God the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? Which one? Okay. Your question is, who's the God of Jesus? Is that the question? Yes, Jesus the Man. Okay, is the, Jesus, man. Okay, so is the God of Jesus the Man? Yeah. God the Father, the but Son, the Holy simpl Spirit. Which one? Simplify your question. Okay, who is the God of Jesus? Who is the God of okay. Jesus? Okay. Who is so, the God of Jesus? God the Father, okay. the Son, okay. or the Holy Spirit? Which one? Right, so when Jesus was on earth, yes. he referred to his Father as, as God. In so his God is God the Father? Yes, yeah, so, so when... And your God is what? I, I can't... It, no, it, and your God is what? Okay, so when Jesus was on earth, yes? Yes. We, we believe he had two natures. Yes. So he did refer sometimes to the Father as God because he wasn't an atheist. He knew who God was. He knew who his Father was. He yeah. wasn't an atheist. You're not getting my okay. question. Okay. okay. My question is... Is God, yes. Jesus, the man is God, fa the Father, I, I, I think, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, let me let me make it clearly. That. Let me make it clear for you. Okay. Your God, Christian's yes. God, is God the Father, yes. the Son, yes. and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, three persons in one. Yeah, yeah. So is the God of Jesus the man, three persons in one? God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Or the God of Jesus is only God the Father, one person? Your, your question is very complicated, my friend. It is very complicated question. Okay. Okay, is the God of Jesus one person or three persons in one? Right. So, uh, God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. No. Okay. Your God, My is, God? is three persons in one. Okay. God the Father. So, what's the question? I can't get your question. Okay, okay, let me come in. Who is let the me God come in. Yes, is the God yeah. of Jesus, I'm asking, mm. is the God of Jesus the man? To, he referred to his Father okay. as God at times. Okay, yeah. did he claim. Okay, is the. So, now you're agreeing with me the God of Jesus mm. is God the Father. He referred the God. to his father sometimes as God, yes. Okay, so the, his God is not the Holy Spirit and he's not the Son. Yes? 